4G changed our lives, but 5G will change our societies. That's according to China's telecoms giant Huawei. But what makes Huawei tick? I want to take a closer look at their new research base in southern China. And fast forward to 2019. Huawei owns most of the essential 5G patents with 2,570, and that is 20% of the global total. And these patents are considered the fundamental blocks to rolling out 5G at home and abroad. But the research funding has also meant they can develop new technologies, and one of them is the DIS, Digital Indoor System, that allows 5G signals to be received inside buildings. So with the 4G network, I do find it a struggle to make video calls especially. That's probably because the speed is slow and somehow the screen freezes from time to time, which I find quite annoying. But with Huawei's 5G phone, you can use your 4G SIM and you can switch between the two. And that's because Huawei's base stations, they offer you two options. Huawei's base stations offer both standalone network, which is pure 5G, but also non-standalone, which is 4G and 5G networks together. Meanwhile, Huawei's research has been focusing on making the base stations simpler. For example, the core Tiangang chip powering the base stations. As an end-to-end -end 5G chip, it's making the stations 50% smaller and 21% less power consuming. And with this, it has big ambitions for a quick, large-scale 5G deployment worldwide. So far, it has shipped more than 150,000 5G base stations. And by the end of this year, Huawei expects that number to increase to about half a million globally. And at a time when many of the world's 5G players have been held back by the high cost of setting up more 5G base stations, Huawei is offering a solution. I'm Josh, 